Uh, bit boring, isn't it? Go on, get stuck into each other. Smashing down with that mighty axe blade. Immediately attacking, the weapon flicking away. Immediately, it tries to slam down on it, chopping away. Can it get a good blow in? Smash! And again, heavy blows from the axe. The axe slamming in on the attack. In comes that heavy blade now. The axe has been broken off. No more use out of that then. Off comes the axe, leaving them with much less attack power. That's a real blow. The power source for their axe has been broken. It's pretty much useless now. The axe not much good now as the power source goes up in smoke. The heavy weapon crashing in and making mince meat of this one. Determined to pound it into submission. And I think it's ready to submit now. Bash, crash and smash. Looks like a crippling blow with the force behind that. Crashing down hard. The heavy axe making light work of the destruction. And the axe easily smashing through there. Pounding away. It's really taking some punishment from this axe now. Hacking away happily. The victim, uh, not quite so happy. Raining down blows. Making heavy weather of it, but some dents appearing. Bash! Another blow. Another dent. Slamming down the axe. Could be worse. They've got off lightly that time. And that made its mark. I can see it starting to give way. Some damage from the axe this time. Looking promising. The axe chops away. But it'll need more effort behind it to cause damage here. The axe bouncing off. No damage visible. Hacking away enthusiastically. But they'll be lucky to get a scratch on this tough machine. Doesn't even scratch it with the axe this time. It's attacking well, but hard to see any damage that time. A good try but no damage that I can see. Desperately trying to cause some damage, but to no avail. The axe slams down into thin air, flailing away with the axe. The axe flies past. No luck that time. Keep trying. That was unlucky, but it will catch it in the end. He's a mean, lean, fighting machine. Dance like a butterfly, sting like a bee. It's Robot Ali. Can it go for a knockout? And the glove is out for some KO action. And the glove is off. Oh dear, not much use now. Off it breaks. No more punch left in it now. Will they be out for the count? In with a huge right hook there. Sends them flying across the arena onto the ropes. It's a knockout. Oh, and a good punch going in there. And another punch. Buzzing closer. The chainsaw looking for an opportunity to see some action. Lunging in with a chainsaw. The chainsaw moves in. The chainsaw blade looking ferocious as it darts in for an attack. The chainsaw coming in for an attack. The chainsaw attacking. Can it cause some damage? The chainsaw's been snapped off. And the chainsaw drops off. What are they going to try now? The motor's been trashed. And the teeth grind to a halt no more power the motor dies and they're gonna need a new plan of attack the chainsaw blade rips away and starting to tear in that looks painful that one's gonna leave a scar nasty blade on the chainsaw look at the scratches and slices the chainsaw scarring as it cuts away shredding it into pieces with a violent attack that's the spirit. And it's in pieces! The chainsaw threatening to take it apart completely! Tearing and shredding. The chainsaw blades making short work of this one. Slicing through, making it look easy. But I assure you, it is not. The chainsaw tearing away, but it's only grazing and scratching so far. Need to get a better grip. Slicing away. Minimal damage that time, though. Thudding into contact with the blade and starting to make it count. Grating away and a little damage appearing. Scratches and scrapes, but the damage is only superficial. It scrapes the armor. It manages a little damage. So there is hope yet if they can bring it around again. The chainsaw repelled by the tough outer shell. The chainsaw having great difficulty getting through that armored shell. No sign of damage yet. Standing up well to the chainsaw attack. The chainsaw skimming off the surface. Not even a scratch. The chainsaw clatters off the surface. Not strong enough to get through it, I think. They're trying hard, but this is a tough target with the chainsaw, obviously. The chainsaw blade missing completely that time. The attack missing this time. No luck with that one. Getting angry now, and the chainsaw buzzing away. Nowhere near, the blade whirs past. 
buzzing away, but neatly avoided. The saw whirring, looks for an opening, coming in for an attack with the vicious looking saw blade. The circular saw getting closer. Can they get in close enough? In comes the circular saw. On the attack with the saw blade spinning. Can cause a lot of damage with these. The spinning saw getting closer as they charge in. Saw blade whirring as they try to find an opening. The saw blade is shattered. It's not much use now. And the broken blade, no use now. They're going to have to try something else. The motor's blown. And the saw's now useless. The saw grinds to a halt. The power's been cut off, ripping its way through. This could cause it some trouble. The saw viciously ravaging away as it lunges again towards its victim. The saw slicing easily into it. This could give it real problems. Grinding its way to victory if it keeps that up, I'm sure. And it's going to score well on damage with the effects of that circular saw blade in evidence now. Signs of damage now. And yes, it's having a really good try this time. The saw relentlessly thudding in. In goes the saw and its vicious teeth starting to tear away at the armour. Slicing in and we could be seeing some terminal damage if it keeps this up. The circular saw grinding through, starting to make an impression. But it's going to take more than that to give it any real trouble. And that's it causing damage as it starts to rip into it, tearing as it spins. Some damage even against something this tough from the powerful saw, grazing and scraping as it hits, tearing in. That's making it think twice about tangling with this blade again. The blade thuds in and rips the shell a little, trying to slice in with the saw, but not having any effect. And even the powerful circular saw having trouble getting through this one. No damage that time, hardly even scratching the surface, despite the strength of that saw blade. Not enough to damage it, even with the saw blade. The whirring blade misses. Getting closer, but not quite close enough with the saw though. Missing by a hair's breadth, and a lucky escape from one of the more dangerous weapons in this event. Spinning and missing. But they'll have another go, I'm sure. Not good enough that time. It misses. Coming in for an attack with a flamethrower. The flamethrower looking dangerous as it closes in. Great range from the flamethrower as they blast away. In they go with the flamethrower blazing. Nothing to lose. Up close, the flamethrower even hotter and more deadly. Don't let them get that close. A practice spurt of flame from it there. Don't waste it, guys. Save it for a target. The flamethrower blazing in. Flames everywhere as this determined attack gets underway. Blasting and blazing. In comes the flamethrower for some fun. That band signals the end of their flamethrower. The tank has blown up. There goes the tank, and it's the end of the flamethrower. Fun for now. What else can they try? And I think they're on fire. And it's caught in the blistering heat of the flamethrower. Smoking away. Caught in the intense flame. Burning away now in the flames. Scorched and looking rather sorry for itself after the flamethrower does its worst. Still burning away. Is it going to burst into full flame? The paintwork blistering under that relentless heat. A burst of flame scorches across there, scorching away. The heat beginning to cause some damage. As you can see, the flamethrower, not one of the best weapons for this. Not much chance of serious damage. Some damage that time. The flame starting to have an effect. And it's beginning to wilt in the relentless heat. Flames lick all over it. Nothing to catch fire, though, on this. The flames not having much effect. Not flammable enough for the flames to worry it too much. Impressive-looking flames, but less than impressive damage against that. The flames not worrying this one too much. It seems very resistant to the flames. Bad luck. And the flame just misses. Neatly avoiding the flamethrower there. Nowhere near with that blast of flame. The flame flicks past. Oh, close. Try again. You are nearly there. Working away with the flipper as it tries to get underneath. Trying to get under there with the flipper. Up and down as the flipper shows its intentions. Don't say you weren't warned. And sneaking in to just slot the flipper under it and do its worst. The flipper just aiming to get underneath. Trying to sneak up with the flipper. The flipper's broken. Nothing to fear from that anymore. Off comes the flipper. 
And they'll be needing to spend some time fixing that after this. The air's leaking from the canister. That flipper isn't going to be much use now. The air hissing out, signalling the end of the flipper for now. And look at the flipper power. They make it look easy as the flipper tosses it into the air. And they're out! Flipped straight out of the arena by the force of that flipper. And over it goes, nice and easy. That flipper can lift a lot more than the weight of this robot from the look of it. And it flies into the air, propelled by that amazing flipper. Up they go, whoosh, and crash. A gentle flip as it lifts and topples. Over it goes, slowly but surely. It goes up. It topples and falls! And can it get back on its feet again is the question now! Onto its side, as the flipper labours under the effort. More power needed, I think. The flipper not finding it too easy. But it's going over! Looks like hard work for the flipper, but it's going to make it too heavy for the flipper to move. Or they didn't get enough power behind it. The flipper underneath tries to flip it, but barely lifts it. The flipper doing its best, but nothing happening. It doesn't quite manage to lift it enough. I thought they were going to flip it. Not quite. Not quite far enough underneath for the flipper to have a chance. And the flipper misses. This robot too nippy to be caught by the flipper. Dodges the flipper. Nicely done. A good try, but the flipper doesn't make it that time. Moving in with the spinning disc. Can they avoid its cutting edge? The massive flywheel edging closer to its prey. On the attack now. Some of these flywheels spin it up to... 1200 RPM and you want to stay well clear of them I can tell you the deadly flywheel on the attack again in comes the disc of destruction the flywheel has flown away it'll be doing no more damage today and the disc spins off and it's looking rather helpless without that that's the end of the flywheel there's nothing left to power it with no power to the flywheel now There'll be no more spinning disc for this fight. The hugely destructive flywheel making short work of this one. Look at that power and the venomous ability. And it's smashed almost to pieces as the flywheel gets to work. There won't be much left of this if they don't stop it somehow. Taking huge chunks out of its victim as it rips and rips away. They'll be sweeping up the remains of this one later if it continues. The flywheel not making much impact that time. Unusually minor damage by the look of it. I don't know how it got out of that so lightly. Hardly any damage at all. Some damage, that'll help. Not as much damage as I'd expect to see. This must be a tough nut. The flywheel only catching it in passing, and that's just not good enough with something as tough as this one. No damage from the flywheel that time. A miraculous escape. And miraculously, they escape damage from that attack. They've managed to avoid the dangerous spinning dish, and it's missed as they go straight past. What a lost opportunity that was. Oh, close. But the flywheel just misses. The flywheel misses. A huge sigh of relief from the victim. The flywheel whizzes past. No luck that time. On a tremendous charge now. Speeding across the arena. It's heading for a collision. On a direct collision course. And it's going to barge straight into it. Attempting to crash into it. Coming in for the kill with all its weight behind it. Charging in with tremendous force. And it's heading straight in on a collision course. Trying to charge right in now. In it comes for an attack now. Tremendous force behind that charge. You can see the huge dents, the impact back mate and it's taken a real battering with that blow it crashes in and that's gonna hurt and in it goes a lot of weight behind this robot are making good use of it to cause damage and some serious damage with that blow very good charge from this robot and the impact causing some real damage this time bumping and banging not a lot of damage so far. A mighty clunk as it makes contact. But it's tougher than it looks. Only a few scratches this time. It smashes in, but standing up fairly well to this battering. Slamming in. You can see it's starting to make an impression. Thudding in. Not strong enough to do too much damage. It's made a good start. It's beginning to cause some damage. The impact, not really hurting. Needs more force behind it to damage something as tough as this. No real damage that time. Just a bit of a jolt. Only a glancing blow that time. Barely grazing it as it passes. 10 out of 10 for effort, but no points for damage that time. Not enough to hurt, but a good try. A good attempt, but not quite enough that time. And not quite managing to reach its target on this occasion. Having trouble catching it with the charge. Almost catching it as it thunders past. 
but almost won't get you anywhere in Robot Wars. Fails in the attempt to smash into it there. Not that time, I'm afraid. No, it misses this time. The hammer coming in for a try. Swinging in with the hammer. Look out. Trying to get the hammer in for a hefty blow to finish it off. Moving in on the attack. The hammer menacing. The hammer swinging in on the attack. Coming in with the hammer. It swings away. The hammer has been snapped off. It's no good now. And the hammer is no more. The hammer's power source is no more. It won't work without it. No power. No hammer. What will they do now? Immense crushing power behind the hammer blow. Look at the state of that. Bits flying off as the hammer blow really makes it count. He's trying to smash it to pieces with the hammer now and just might succeed at this rate. Look at that. In goes the hammer and there's a lot of momentum behind that weapon. Looking a bit sorry for itself as the hammer comes in and gives it another almighty blow. And it'll be in pieces if they carry on like that. The hammer working well against that. The hammer thumping into contact and scoring a dent at least. A jolt as the hammer thuds in for a blow. Really starting to give it some problems now. And a light hammer ring just for starters i think crash as it lands a blow that's not a bad try and that hit it hit and it damaged making a dent in there with a hammer it shrugs the hammer blows off effortlessly not impressed by that in any sense of the word no sign of a dent from that lucky escape the hammer bouncing off easily no sign of damage from that blow it hits no damage though, and the hammer misses by a mile. Dodging the hammer easily, escaping the hammer blow without much effort there. It avoids the hammer blow, the hammer nowhere near hitting it. Getting into position with that deadly weapon, looking for something to cut and snip away with those powerful jaws. The jaws looming up on it must look ferocious. Avoid those jaws at all costs. They can cut through anything, those jaws looking to get their teeth into something. The jaws coming into attack. The jaws of life are no more. They've been snapped off. The jaws broken and useless now. The jaws of life are now dead. They don't seem to have any power. No power seems to be reaching the jaws of life. The jaws cut slowly and relentlessly. No escape as they rend mercilessly. The cruel jaws slowly but surely cutting into the metal with huge strength and it's really suffering now. Twisting under those jaws as it rips it apart. The jaws Gutting its helpless victim, there's no way out once they've got you in their grip. And the metal snaps under the pressure, the jaw showing no mercy. The jaw snip, and that looks badly damaged from here. The jaws twisting and scraping, but not cutting right through this time. Starting to buckle under the pressure of that cutting power. And the jaws squeeze ever tighter. Shame it hasn't got a better grip or it'd do a lot more damage. Starting to give way under the strain. They've cut through. Some damage showing on there already. And they grip and they squeeze. But the damage could be worse. Somehow, the jaws not gripping well enough to cut. And they survive this time. Those jaws not quite up to the job. And no damage from those strong jaws. How did they withstand that? No, it's too tough for them this time. It doesn't look like the jaws got through there. The slowness of those jaws giving it a chance to get away before they could really start to cut. The jaws close, but the prey is long gone. No chance now. It's just too nippy for those jaws to get a chance to close in on I think. The jaws close on empty air. Nothing there to grip once the jaws close. The blades spin as it comes in on the offensive. The blades grind round, trying to get into a good position to attack. The rotating lawnmower blade heading in to cut it down to size. Spinning blades charging in for an attack on the offensive now with those rotating blades. The blades have fallen off. Not much use now. And there go the blades. They're useless now. The blades Slow to a standstill. The motor's been broken. 
That was the motor going. They're going to lose the use of those blades now. And the blades rip away. Some real damage potential here if they can keep that up. Grinding away. The blades taking chunks out of that. Slamming into it. And the blades working away furiously to great effect. Shredding away at it. The blades are unstoppable as they rip and rend. And the blades tear in. They're having a field day with this as it crumbles beneath the onslaught. Grinding and whirring and the victim is looking rather the worse for wear now. The lawnmower blades just grazing the surface. Mind the paintwork. The blades grind in, but only superficial damage that time. A scraping of the blades. Just not hard enough to make an impact. The rotating blades do their best, but it's just too tough to get right through. They've damaged it. Yes, I can see some damage. That's encouraging. There's some damage showing. Can they follow it up now? And no real damage that time from the blades. The blades clatter, but don't do anything. Stuttering a little as the tough metal repels the blades. Slowing the blades a little, but nothing more. Scrapes off. No damage this time. The blades not strong enough to get through. The blades just missing that time. The blades spin past. Missed by a mile. Nowhere near. Better stick to cutting grass if that's the best they can do. A close shave, but getting away with it that time. Unlucky. Just missing that time. Oh, close. Not quite hitting. Barging in to push it around. The weapon trying to lift it and topple it. Coming in to pin it down with the ideal pushing weapon there. Heading over to push and tip it if it can. In it comes. Can it get under there? Racing in on the attack. Can they lift it though? That won't lift anything anymore. Its lifting days are over for this battle. The power's gone from the weapon. No more lifting anything with that. The lifting power has given out. And now they're stuck with a useless weapon, pushing it so hard that over it goes with a huge crash and it lifts, topples over and down it goes. Could be in trouble now. It goes underneath and lifts as it pushes, taking plenty of punishment as it gets barged around the arena. And that's a good shove. It looks like that gave it trouble. Is that damage there? I can see some injuries on the shell there. All that pushing achieving something. Pushing with some force there as it drives it back. Dents and scrapes as it bumps and barges around the arena. Taking a bit of a battering as it pushes it all over and tries to topple it. Lifting it just enough for it to fall over. Not much damage though. A gentle push there. That won't do much damage. Not causing it too much pain so far. If they can lift it further, that would help. It gets underneath, getting a grip but not enough as it fails to lift it. Pushing it around, but not causing any damage yet. Keep going. Lifting weapons ideal for pushing things around, although it helps if you can find a way to damage them too. So keep looking, boys. Pushing and shoving, but you need something to push into it hard to do any damage. Doing their best to push it against any obstacle they can find, but nothing damaging it so far. Not quite far enough underneath to have a chance that time. And it misses. Needs to come around, give it another go with a lifting weapon. This robot too nippy to be caught out like that. And it goes straight past, missing completely. You'll have to try harder than that to get hold of it. Out squirts the liquid nitrogen. Look at that super cooled nitrogen. It really could cause problems for the other robots. Getting a bit chilly in here now. Watch out, there's a liquid nitrogen gun about. And it could be freezing time here. Time to bring out the big guns by the look of it. The liquid nitrogen gun has broken and they've frozen themselves. Look out. And the nitrogen spilling everywhere. Now the gun is broken. Oh, this must be very painful to them. They've been cooled down. Are their dreams about to be shattered? It's Mr. Frosty the robot. Better watch your step. They've been put on ice. Cool down, my friend. You're in for a smashing time if you don't look out. If they can hit it now, it's going to be goodbye. Can they smash them now? They've shattered the armor. This robot's in trouble now. It's shattered it. The robot's no more. They're in pieces all over the arena floor. That liquid nitrogen has knocked them clean out. And that's it for this robot. The pieces are everywhere. It'll take more than a bit of glue to put that lot back together. Truly 
A smashing end to come to. Getting into position to make good use of that deadly weapon. Coming in to squeeze it under that powerful arm. The ferocious point on that arm, threatening to cut straight through. If only they can get a grip. The piercing arm can inflict several tons of downward force once it gets a grip, so don't let it get in close. The arm moving into attack now. The piercing arm getting closer. Can they get a good attack in? The piercing arm is no more. It's left on the arena floor. The arm breaking. No more crushing from that for now. I think the piercing arm has taken a hit. And it's broken. The power seems to have been damaged. And that's the end of the crushing arm. As it crushes it into a crumpled wreck, just look at the devastating power of this arm when it works as it's supposed to. Slowly pressing down with the arm and the slow agony of watching it crush and tear the metal buckling and twisting into a heap of scrap even as we watch. No way out now as it squeezes and squashes, crushing and crumpling. It might as well be paper and the damage looking serious after this onslaught. The arm crushing down and pressing in. Not too deeply, but it will have caused some damage. Starting to buckle under the pressure of that crushing power. And the arm presses down ever tighter. A little damage, but not as much as they hoped, I shouldn't think. Starting to give way under the strain there. And the shell is starting to break and crack. Visible damage taken. The arm making its mark on there. The arm without a good enough grip to inflict damage on that try. And they survive this time. The piercing arm must be feeling merciful today and no damage from the crushing arm how did they withstand that no luck that time somehow it avoided being damaged no it doesn't look damaged after that amazingly enough the arm closing too slowly and giving it chance to escape the arm starting to descend but the prey's long gone no too late they're off and the pincers trying to get hold of it if it can pin it down it'll stand a good chance here use those pincers Go for it! Trying to get the pincers into grip. The pincers coming in. Can they catch hold? The pincers have been snapped off! Their gripping days are over! Off come the pincers! Not much more they can do with those today! The pincers don't seem to be working. I think they're broken. The pincers have no power. Not much good now. And the pincers tightly holding it and smashing them into that. And look at the wreckage of that. Bash and bump! The pincers giving out the punishment as they're pushed around the arena. And the pincers holding what's left of it. And that won't be much before long. The pincers working just right that time. That damage is going to take some fixing. Smashing up the robot in its grasp. The pincers doing a good job of holding it still. The pincers pushing them into trouble. And that's caused them some damage. In they go. Can't escape the grip of those pincers. And they're looking the worse for wear. The pincers grasp it firmly. And bang! Smashing them into the nearest obstacle as possible. And the pincers pushing them around, but not really finding anything good enough to push them into. And it has hold of them, and some damage caused with that attack. The pincers holding it fast now. Can they make the most of this chance? Holding on with the pincers while the weapon comes in for the attack. Not getting very far, though. Trying to push it into a sticky situation with the pincers didn't quite work out as planned. The pincers didn't quite work out that time. The pincers catching them, but no damage. It slips through the pincers' grasp, and that's a miss. The pincers scrape and slide, and can't keep hold of it. Slipping out of its grasp, and goodbye. No! The pincers missed that time. The pincers can't catch it. The drill can do considerable damage if it's allowed to get in. The whining drill approaching dangerous weapon, this one. Bringing the drill into attack as they lunge forward. Doing its best to get stuck in with that pneumatic drill. The drill hunting for an opening. Coming in to try to drill through the shell. The pneumatic drill has been snapped off. No more dentistry for that drill. Off comes the drill. That's a bit of a blow for them. The air is leaking from the canister. That drill's not going to be much use now. No, the power source gone. And the drill is useless. The pneumatic drill ripping through there with no trouble. And it's no protection against the force of the pneumatic drill as it tears in. The drill piercing the shell and could be causing internal damage as well. The drill making light work of that. Really going for it. The drill really going now. And if that doesn't cause some internal damage, they'll be very, very lucky. An onslaught of the drill. And that's looking terminal. Or nearly anyway. The drill thuds in. And I can see 
a hole! Only a small one, but it is getting through! Not far enough to cause internal damage this time, just making holes in the shell. No serious damage apparent, but there are definitely battle scars showing. A few holes appearing, some chinks at least. Finding a way through with a drill. Damage appearing, as you can see. The drill sliding off the surface as they try to bring it to bear. Just a scrape. No damage as such, I don't think, that time. Not hitting a vulnerable area. The drill won't go in easily. Picking a well-armoured spot, obviously, as the drill makes no impression. The drill scrapes off, not enough to hurt. No! They managed to hit, but no sign of any damage. The drill failing to connect with it that time. The drill getting closer, but not close enough to pierce the shell. And the drill whirs past. It misses with the drill this time. No luck with the drill that time, though. Here it comes again, trying to impale with a spike, stabbing away with a spike, moving in, having a go with that vicious spike, and in it comes to ram with a spike, here comes the spike again, punching in with a spike, punching away at it with a spike, ramming in with a sharp spike, charging in to impale the spike, their spike's been broken off, off comes the spike, they're going to have to try another tactic now, ouch, brutally speared that time, that's more like it, the spike, perforating the armoured shell. It doesn't look pretty. Punching a hole, and that's going to really hurt. Piercing the shell, the spike proving very effective on this. In comes the spike, penetrating the shell. This is vicious. In goes the spike. That's a good hit. I think they've got through the shell. That's hurt it. The spike piercing its target. Not much damage, but it's made a start. Already a puncture mark as the spike gets stuck in. Nothing serious, though, I don't think. Another small gouge out of it. Needs to get a bit more weight behind it to do more than scratch, though. Not much damage this time. Have another go. Looking like there's some damage, but not much. You can see the damage starting to show. Just a scratch as the spike slides off again. The spike hardly scratching in that poor attempt. Must try harder. In comes the spike. But it doesn't look damaged to me. I don't think the spike did much good that time. No damage from the spike this time. Try a better weapon sometime, boys. Not enough to hurt the spike not piercing it. Barely a scratch cause with that attack. Not quite managing to catch it with the spike. Having trouble getting the spike in to damage it. Not quite. The spike not making contact. And the spike misses. The spike not getting close enough to hit. It misses this time. It has a Sremek, though. Trying to use it to get back on its feet. The Sremek hissing as it goes into operation. The Sremek thudding into the arena floor, trying to get a hold to push itself back over. Out pops the Sremek. Let's hope it works, or this will all be over. Can they rescue themselves with the Sremek? It has a Sremek, though if they can get it working. The Shremek is broken. They better not get flipped over now. They're going to be stuck without a Shremek if they come up against a flipper. The Shremek lets them down. Will they have chance for another try before the house robots decide it's all over? Doesn't seem to be enough to turn it back over. The Shremek straining away, and the panic must be building now. Pushing a little, but not enough. The robot stays out of action. And is it all over for them now? The Shremek not getting them back over yet. Keep trying, though. Not enough yet. Push harder. The Sremek should work. Still in the fight as the Sremek slowly turns it back over. Flipping the right way as the Sremek does the business. And the self-riding mechanism saves the day as it turns back over. On with the fight. Turning back over as the Sremek comes into operation. And they're back in the game as the Sremek saves the day. Off again as the Sremek brings them back into the action. The torch cutter could be bad news if they catch up with it. Here comes the torch cutter, looking for a chance to blast away at it. Burning at a temperature of over 3,000. Thousand degrees Celsius. The torch cutter comes in. The torch cutter having a go now. In comes the torch cutter. This could be bad news for anyone in the way of it. Oh dear! The torch cutter snapped off. Well, it's pretty useless now. And a serious loss as the torch cutter breaks off, leaving them with much less damage potential, of course. The tank's blown. That's the end of the torch cutter. Up goes the tank. And the torch cutter, just dead weight now. Burning and cutting the immense heat from that torch cutter. The sparks flying as the torch cutter sears into it. The stream of molten metal and gas melting away resistance and everything else as well. Frighteningly powerful, that torch cutter. Burning so hot, very little can stand up to it. 
And this certainly can't! And the torch cutter goes straight through! Armour? What armour? It sears in with that incredible heat! And what can withstand this weapon? The torch cutter burning away, but the damage superficial up to now. Well, it spoiled the paintwork at least, and could spoil a lot more if it tries that again. The torch cutter not quite living up to its promise there, but if it can get a better attempt, devastating. The torch cutter making an impression, but we expected a bit more than that. I wonder what the problem is. Even the torch cutter seems to have trouble getting through this one. I don't think it'll take too many tries, though. Even the incredible blast from the torch cutter not having an impact. And it's not troubled by the attentions of the torch cutter so far. Amazingly, they don't seem to have taken any real damage from the torch cutter. The torch cutter just misses. No success with the torch cutter. Unlucky that time, but they can't escape forever. It's a sort of box wedge-shaped robot with all the advantages of a wedge for tipping opponents over. This robot, one of the box wedge designs, a variation on the old favourite, as you can see. It's a wedge-shaped robot, a very popular shape, allowing them to drive in under other robots. This wedge shape, very popular among our roboteers, gives them the advantage of being able to get in underneath and tip opponents, of course. This is a high wedge-shaped robot, very popular shape, allowing them to drive under other robots. Higher than a normal wedge, with all the same advantages, but it lets them use different weapons, of course. It's shaped like a kind of domed wedge. A slightly unusual domed wedge shape to this robot. That's interesting. Cease! End! Stop! Finish! Oh! Oh! A crunch! Ouch! Yikes! Blimey! Marvellous! This is what we like! Destruction and mayhem! Bring it on! Must be dazed and confused!